You also have choices with the type of surgery that we do. The old-fashioned method is manual, everything's done by hand. The newest method is by laser, and this is superior in several ways. The laser method of surgery corrects astigmatism, so your vision can be sharper. It's more efficient by prepping the lens and softening it, so it's a little quicker and faster healing. And the incisions are all done with precision by laser. The precision of my hands are measured in millimeters. The precision of a laser is measured in microns, and it's much, much more precise than any human can reproduce. All of us undergoing eye surgery are very nervous and fearful of pain. That is very normal. On the day of surgery, you're going to have many eye drops, some of which includes anesthetics on the surface of the eye, which will completely numb the pain receptors. You don't have to worry about pain during surgery. There should not be any pain. Also, in the operating room, you'll have an IV with sedation medications, and that's similar to medications you take if you're nervous, anxious, and need to fall asleep. These are administered by an anesthetist, and this will make you comfortable. It's actually not general anesthesia, which makes it safer, and the purpose of the anesthetic is just to uh, get rid of your uh, anxiety. During the surgery, if you're a little bit extra nervous, some of us are, the anesthetist can give you some extra medications, and you may fall asleep for a short bit, just a short nap, a few minutes, and the surgery will go by very quickly. So don't worry, we'll take care of that, and you won't feel any discomfort or pain during the procedure. After cataract surgery, what you can expect is three phases of healing. As soon as you have surgery completed, you'll go to the post-op recovery, and in a short while when the nurses have assessed your vitals and cleared you, you're free to go home. When you go home, that's phase one. You need to stay home and limit your activities only to necessities such as going to the bathroom and um, eating and going back uh, to your room. After you rest for 24 hours in your home, you'll come in for a follow-up. If your follow-up exam shows that there's no complications and your eyes are doing fine, that's phase two. You're free to leave the house, go about your normal activities. There's only a few limitations. You should not lift heavy things over 25 to 30 pounds. You shouldn't do heavy cardio exercise, and you shouldn't leave town. The reason you shouldn't leave town more than an hour away is that if you're going to have a complication, which is not likely, it's most likely going to occur in the first week. And if you have a complication, I want to be the surgeon that takes care of your problem. I don't want you to be far away where we have to communicate by phone or things become difficult. After the third week, that's phase three. If your eyes are fine, you can return to all of your normal activities, and that includes heavy cardio exercise and heavy lifting as well. Usually about three to four weeks later, that's your last post-op exam. If your eyes are fine at that point, we update any glasses that you need, and hopefully if you have a multifocal lens implant, you may not need any glasses at that point. You're going to meet with our surgery counselor. She's going to go through all of the pre-op and post-op preparation. You're going to start three medications before surgery. That includes an antibiotic, a steroid, and an NSAID and you're going to continue them for four weeks after surgery. The exception is the antibiotic, which you'll stop after five days. You're going to go through this on a sheet of paper uh, with the surgery counselor. Everything will be written for you, and you'll be able to take it home. You'll hear everything probably at least twice, so don't worry. You're going to uh, understand it and be able to um, follow the instructions well.